Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about The Automatic Detective by A. Lee Martinez. <clears throat> Even in Empire City, a town where weird science is the hope for tomorrow, it's hard for a robot to make his way. Even harder for a robot named Mac Megaton, a hulky machine designed to bring mankind to its knees. But, not, but Mac's not interested in world domination. He's just a bot trying to get by, trying to demonstrate that he isn't just an automated smashing machine and earn his citizenship in the process. It should be as easy as crushing a tank for Mac, but some bots just can't catch a break. When Mac's neighbors are kidnapped, Mac sets off on a journey through the dark alleys and gleaming skyscrapers of Empire City. Along the way, he runs afoul of a talking gorilla named a gr talking gorilla, a brainy dame, a mutant lowlife, a little green mob boss, and the secret conspiracy at the heart of Empire's founders. Not to mention more trouble than he bargained for. As soon as he started out as when started out as one missing family becomes a battle for the future of Empire and every citizen that calls her home. <clears throat> there you have it. You know, if all the, you know, um, you know, he, has, you know, like, one thing that I really enjoy is, um, the, <clears throat> there's a story now, the characters, you know, there are plenty of interesting characters, as I've just listed, you know, you know, some more interesting than others. But the most interesting of all that I should feel like bringing up is, you know, Mac Megaton himself. You know, first off, that's easily the most coolest name for a robot to have, in my opinion. Second is uh, that um, he's easily the mo one of the most interesting robot characters that I've uh, come across in a long time, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, a lot of robots that I, uh, robot characters that I see in books and movies, they seem to, whenever anybody tries to give them any uh, depth, they either, A, give them a sort of Pinocchio complex where they just constantly wish they were human and wish that they could be, they'd be constantly trying to be more like human and so and so forth or they just boggle everything down with a bunch of uh, needless you know philosophizing about having a soul and bl blah 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 or whatever there are there are obviously exceptions to this you know <clears throat> you know like bender bending rodriguez of futurama or uh, or uh, say Rusty from <clears throat> the big guy in Rusty, but for the most part, it seems like it's the former two. And in this case, like, um, really makes him really interesting is that he actually like doesn't really start out with much of a personality. He actually seems like a rather boring pers boring guy, <clears throat> but um, he actually slowly grows uh, it over time and. I mean, like, um, one thing, like, I talk about how, uh, they always constantly talk about, like, whether or not they have a soul or whatever, but in this case, you know, they explain, like, the reason for his, uh, sentience and ability to, like, rebel against his, um, what he's, like, built for is that it's, there's a glitch, you know, <clears throat> and, um, they they like how I just like how they explain it right away, and I also like how uh, the Empire City is just so proud that they have inv robots so advanced that they are just gladly giving uh, citizenship to any to robots that they deem capable of getting you know that they see as the, like self aware, and that that's really cool, and. Um, but uh, back to um, back to Mac Megaton is like um, he's like he starts out looking like a really boring character, you know, driving a taxi cab and uh, admitting to like not really knowing what to do, 
different things to do and not showing much of an interest in anything. Even admitting to like uh, spending like hours upon hours just standing in a corner doing literally nothing <clears throat> and showing no interest in anything. Save for like um, his caring about the uh, family that gets kidnapped, the bleakers. And um, <clears throat> then like he... But then, like, when they get kidnapped and he starts on his little adventure, then he just slowly grows, like, more and more of a funny personality over as the book goes on until, like, in the end of the book where he's just, he's a really funny, cool guy and uh, he becomes a detective at the end of it, a private detective. And, um... <clears throat> and, uh, some, and a lot of the characters that he meets are really cool, too. You know, there's special like um, the most uh, mem the ones that sort of pop out most in my mind are some of the, like the gangster type characters, and uh, there's like a <clears throat> there's a Green Aberney, or I think this was, um, you know, who's like a like the lead, and there's two little two uh, cohorts that he, that are like uh, the one's name's uh, Gray, who's a uh, a techno telepathy or uh, technopathic or whatever like he, he can manipulate machines with his mind you know and is like a robot helper and um, there <clears throat> I should also say that there's like a particular plot twist that I don't want to spoil but um, you know uh, it's a in my opinion a good twist and, um, back to the characters, um, to me, like, uh, like I said, there's some in interesting characters, but some are more interesting than others. Like, um, there's this, um, daughter character, I keep forgetting his name. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm never good with names. I should probably take more notes when I'm reading doing this but anyway like daughter is like a clairvoyant like the the bleakers family like the daughter's clairvoyant their son is holt i think or something anyway um who's like uh has this particular gene that well i can't really get into his mutantness speed um but um yeah it's uh, it sort of ties in that plot twist that i tell you and um Anyway, um, if I, my one out of five rating that I'd give it would be four. Why four? Well, like I said, like, some characters are just not interesting. Some characters are more interesting than others. You know, uh, like I said, the only characters that are kind of memorable are Mac Megaton, Megaton himself, because of all the things that I just said, and um, the other other characters really aren't going to stick with you for that long, I already forgot most of the characters' names, um, but, um, and despite me liking the plot twist that happens with the whole conspiracy at the heart of Empire City, it does kind of come out, feel like it come out comes out of left field, in my opinion. But overall, still highly recommended. Still a fantastic book. Check it out. Yeah. Anyway, join me next time where we're going to be taking a look at the world through all of its colors, including its various shades of gray. <clears throat> Till next time, see you later, keep it fruity, y'all.